Do you find it hard to hook viewers in and keep them engaged throughout your entire video? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to take your videos from meh to wow. And we're going to do it using video effects. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. You only have a few seconds to catch someone's attention with your content. If you can't hook them in within those first one to three seconds, they're scrolling right past your video onto the next. And video effects and animation can help capture and hold that interest throughout your entire video. First, let's take a look at pop in, pop out, and zoom effects. So in this video, I have several different B-roll clips scattered throughout the entire video. And B-roll's good, but B-roll by itself sometimes can be kind of boring. So we're gonna add video effects to animate the B-roll coming into the screen, making it much more interesting. So this is the first B-roll clip that we have. It I almost always use Minvo to help me with this. Let the AI. So the first B-roll is that big Minvo logo that pops up on the screen. So we can see we have Minvo on the screen here, but it really just shows up. Nothing spectacular really happens. So we're going to spice this up a little bit. If we click on the actual B-roll clip down in the timeline here, we're going to see all the options that pop up for that piece of media or B-roll. And by clicking animation, we have several different ways that we can animate the B-roll in and out. So maybe we're gonna start with a pop filter and see what that looks like. I almost always use Minvo to help me with this. Let the A Instead of the logo just all of a sudden being on the screen, it kind of pops onto the screen a bit saying, hey, look at me. And if we wanted to take this one step further, we could even add sound effects for when it does pop onto the screen that it actually makes a pop sound. I have a whole other video talking about boosting engagement with sound effects, so I'll put a link to that down in the description of this video as well. But moving on to the next B-roll clip. After AI does its thing, so for this next B-roll clip, I have a bunch of robots dancing on screen as I'm saying after AI does its thing. So let's see what we can do with video effects on this one. So we have our B-roll clip selected and we come back up to animation again. And rather than doing a pop in this time, maybe we're going to slide in and we can choose where we want to animate it from. So we can slide them from the left, right. I want it to come from the top and come in. And then we can also choose how we want to animate out. So this one's going to be kind of more subtle as it comes in. So I'm going to maybe fade this one out. And then we can even pick if we want to animate during the clip being played. So let's say we want to zoom in on the clip as it's playing. All right, let's take a look at how this one looks. It should be after AI does its thing, I'll go back. Okay, so I'll be honest, it's kind of difficult to see the animation in in the preview here because it's loading the GIF every time that I play over it. But I'll show this full exported clip at the end so you can see how it all comes together. But notice how as the clip plays, it is constantly zooming in throughout that entire clip. And we can do the same thing with zoom out. We can have it pan right or pan left. Or if you don't want any animation happening during at all, we can just click none. Then for our final B-roll clip, we're going to click on the clip again, come over to animation. And this one, I will also want to be a pop in because we're talking about how B-roll can be a powerful tool. So we're going to have it pop in and then maybe we're going to have it pop back out. And I don't want any animation going on during. And what's cool is that the effects don't just apply to the media that we add. We can actually add these video effects into our timeline itself. For the video, we're going to use the video effects to act like a transition between different parts of our video. So in the video, I'm kind of rolling into the end and wrapping up the content. So I want to have a smooth transition between the content and then kind of the conclusion of the video. So both of my clips are separated here between kind of the main content and the conclusion. And we're going to come back up to the top here and click on effects. And then we're going to see some pretty similar animation options here for the video itself. We have pop out, pop in, slow in, and slow out. So with our clip selected, we're just going to click pop out. And as we play through the clip, you can see the video kind of pops out just a little bit. Now let's check out the pop in effect in short form video. By choosing the right clips, matching the mood. That was a little bit more noticeable because it's kind of jumping in your face. Then we can take a look at slow in, in short form video. By choosing the right clips, matching the mood, and use it kind of starts out and then comes in towards you. And then we have slow out form video by choosing the right clips, matching the mood and using B-roll strategically. You can keep what I kind of like about the slow out one is that it, it does slowly zoom out and hold and then it jumps back in. So you kind of get dual effect happening with the slow out. So we're going to leave the slow out in there. I like that one. What I kind of like about this transition is that we're moving from one part of the video to the next part of the video. And that transition is kind of subconsciously letting the viewer know that something is changing. Whether they realize it or not, in a way, they're kind of transitioning through the video with us. Now, the final video effect that we're going to take a look at are filters. Inside Minvo, there are several different filters that we can actually add to our video as well to change up the look of our scene. So with the clip selected that we want to apply the filters on, we'll come back up to effects and then we'll scroll down to filters. All right now we have none selected, but as we click through, we can see that we're now changing the look 
of our video. So going from color to black and white is a pretty noticeable difference. So maybe we want to jump to black and white to kind of really grab someone's attention here. And let's see how that looks real quick. And either delete or change the video and either delete or change the B-roll that I don't like. And I'll insert my own B-roll if I think something's missing. B-roll. Now I do like that, but I think it needs a little bit something more. So I'm actually going to not only add that filter on, but I want to have a pop in effect when that is being set as well. So we got the pop in effect now added. Let's take a listen once more. I'll go back through the video and either delete or change the B-roll that I don't like, and I'll insert my own B-roll if I think something's missing. B-roll can be a pop. I like that a lot better. With the added combination of the scene color change, and then now we also have that pop in effect. Even though it's just me talking in front of the screen, it just adds something more to the video. It makes it more interesting, and it keeps me locked into it a lot better than just a flat talking head the entire time. All right, so let's take a look at this entire edited clip now. I almost always use Minvo to help me with this. Let the AI insert B-roll where it thinks it should be. After AI does its thing, I'll go back through the video and either delete or change the B-roll that I don't like, and I'll insert my own B-roll if I think something's missing. B-roll can be a powerful tool for maximizing your engagement in short form video. By choosing the right clips, matching the mood, and using B-roll strategically, you can keep your audience hooked from start to finish. That's not too bad for only spending a few minutes on this clip together. Let me know what you think of the clip down in the comments, but more importantly, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up for me real quick. And if you want more tips and tricks like this, make sure you're subscribed to the Minvo channel.